there's a lot of conversation around freezing sperm. Should we encourage it for men as similarly as we do to women? Sperm freezing, let's say for lifestyle reasons, is not something I would particularly encourage. The context that we tend to freeze sperm in, for example, is patients preoperatively who have in certain types of cancer chemotherapy treatments where it's mandatory to freeze sperm in terms of the effects or the negative impact of these various treatments like chemotherapy. That's one group of patients. The other group of patients may be that you're faced in clinic with a patient who may have a very low sperm count because sperm counts can appear and disappear that you might want to freeze. The concept of freezing for a man who gets older, I'm not sure that I would particularly advocate. We know there is a decline, but we also talked about DNA. Preserving sperm at a younger age, fine. You might get better sperm quality in terms of DNA at a younger age if you're older. But I don't think that one can say that you're going to freeze sperm in your late 30s because if you have a child at 45, then my sperm count might be much worse. But if it's something you want to do, you feel comfortable with that, then fine. But it's not something that I would be particularly going out there advocating.